this is Myron with Motion Mixed Martial Arts, and today I'm going to do a review on RDX's uh, neoprene and um, uh, gel padded uh, shin and instep guards. Over the years in martial arts, uh, if you've been training for a long time, maybe you've seen like some of the old school uh, cotton and padded shin guards that they sell at most big box sports stores, or you used to be able to get them like through Century and different brands like that. Um, for the longest time, those have been available, and they still are. And they're kind of a minimal shin guard that a beginner might use, or maybe you know someone who doesn't want to spend a whole lot of money. But um, what RDX has come out with is something that's a little bit different. It's a different take on that concept. The uh, it's very light. It's very flexible as a shin guard. I can actually roll it up. Um, it's a, got a gel padding that's sort of soft, but it's actually really, really absorbent. Um, and it's made out of a strong neoprene, almost like a scuba diving kind of suit. Uh, it's got strong stitching. These I've had now for about five months and I've used the hell out of these things. Um, I gotta say this, I'll tell you, I'm going to go into the review, I'm gonna tell you what they are and what they aren't, and uh, a couple of good goods and maybe kind of bads about them. The goods, you can wash them, that's huge, that's great, they, they don't smell. These smell right now because they've had several hard training sessions just today. Um, some of the goods, besides being able to wash them, they go on very easy and they come off very easy and they don't move. So let's watch how that happens. They slip on like a sock. They're very flexy. The, I'm 5'9 and about 175 right now and these are a large, extra large and they fit very well. You can see how quick they slide on just like socks. So from here, I can move, they, they don't move, they feel like a boot and they compress to your shin and instep very well. You can see how, uh, how they look and how they fit. They're very streamlined. That's another very good point about these. Um, now, as far as what they're not, they're not Fairtex heavy duty, heavyweight, hard sparring shin guards. Although I've put some hard rounds with them, my shins are conditioned, most of you guys know that. I mean, I can do a little bit of work uh, with minimal shin guards. I would tell you that they're probably best for kind of light to medium sparring. Uh, you're heavier sparring, you want to probably put some thicker shin guards on, uh, a little bit more protection. But I got to say, for the most part, they check really well, they check in kicks, they don't move at all. And uh, when you throw, you don't beat up your partner too much. I've sparred a lot with Colin and a lot of the other guys wearing nothing but these, and I haven't got any complaints as far as them being non-protective as far as for the person being kicked. Um, another good about them, I like what they look like. I think they look kind of like from the old uh, old days of Pancrase. They kind of look like the Pancrase boot, um, and they fit in the same way. Um, also for MMA like for scrambles and stuff like that, they, they're excellent for that because, because they, they don't move. Like for amateur MMA or any kind of sparring like that, it would be great without, because they don't have any straps to come tangled, you know, untangled or get the Velcro to get taken off. Um, I think they're really beneficial for that. Um, so overall for a shin guard, they run in the neighborhood of around $40, which is really good. Um, it's out between like $35 and $40. I, I've seen them for. I think I got these right at that price point on Amazon um, from RDX, which is an uh, English company that's making a lot of good gear now. So I just wanted you to have a look at them. Um, and these are going to get washed tonight, and they come back smelling like new. So I'll give them a good high rating. So give them a try. Thanks.